Hi everyone. So today I'm going to do a uh, taste test of the fruit that I've grown. So this is just what I've uh, harvested up in the land. So this is here trying to um, decipher which one is a good one. So I you can tell where this custard apple come from. So I did a pruning video and the one that I pruned a lot um, outside was this one. I'll try this one first. So you can use a knife or if it's really soft just kind of break it like so. Right? And I reckon when you break it like that it just looks more appealing. Mm. This one doesn't smell like a, a custard apple. It's almost a cross between, you know, the traditional, or well, not traditional, but um, the African pry and the sour sauce custard apple mixed into one. Yeah, I would say if you don't like the sour salt, sour salt, I think that's what I call um, You can see also the skin now here, it does resemble the other one slightly. So it has that taste and the flesh inside, um, it's a little bit more mushy um, than the custard apple. Um, let me see, this one. Which one should I go for? Maybe this one. So this is the African Pry variety. I'm just gonna rake it up. Look at the flesh inside. Nice and white. It's less, like if you see the different, I think this might be a bit better. You can see the different here. Let's go for a taste test. Look at that. That's what you want. Mm. It's a lot more sweeter. It doesn't have that sourness. And it tastes like um, the, you know, the common African pry variety. I don't know any other, much of any other variety, but I reckon most people prefer this one. Okay, what's next? So this one is also the one that tastes in between a sour salt and a... <laughs> shouldn't hold it by the cord. Um, and African Pride. Um, so my family, I think, generally, they don't like to eat this that much. Uh, I think they default to the African pry. Um, this one, weirdly enough, is from the same tree. And this one turned out slightly different to this one. So, seeing how it's soft, I'll give it a taste test as well. Oh, look at that. Very strange. This is actually a lot sweeter. And nicer too. So that's very strange coming from the same tree. We have one that is almost like the, um, I don't know, like it tastes like the, the sugar, the custard sugar apple variety. And then there is this sour salt mix from the same tree. I don't, hard to decide. Um, but uh, I mean, I'll save the seed and maybe I'll try and grow them in the future. So this is my um, 
star fruit. Um, it's the trees are fruiting really heavily this year, and um, they're starting to because it's winter time. They turn this color. It's not that lush kind of like yellow like this. Only some of them are because they're exposed to the sun and the cold and the rain. They don't look as pretty anymore. Um, this variety, you can eat it like when they're kind of like a bit green and it still tastes like not as sour as the uh, sour variety. Very nice. I like it. Fresh and juicy and not very sour. So, I got some more. This is just the, the other custard apple, which is going to be the same. They're all ready to eat. Nice and soft. Um, this is my mandarin. I've got a few variety out there. This one, look at that. I don't even remember what trees come from. I've been meaning to go and pick it and give it away, but because of the lockdown, we we can't travel outside of our area, um, which is like about an hour away. We're not allowed to travel within the same state. Who does that, hey? Who uses a knife to open a mandarin? It's really nice and juicy. Can I use a knife to do this? Just because I can. <laughs> of course I don't normally eat this way. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, that is sweet. Mandarin, very nice. I'm gonna say very nice to most of them. This is my um, yellow passion fruit. Um, usually I would like it to be a bit more yellow, but I also have the purple variety. Um, I love this variety the most. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Ooh. Mm. Okay, it's sour. So the reason why it's sour was because it's still not fully ripe. When it's fully ripe, it's going to taste, you got slight sourness, but mainly sweet. That's really nice. One of my favorite fruit. I love passion fruit. No, okay. that's the next one. One of these is a blood orange. Which one would it be? So in anticipation that, um, you know, something is sour, I have like um, salt and chili here. Something that Vietnamese people will understand. Ooh. Look at this. <laughs> this is 
the blood orange. It's not exactly red blood, but um, blood blood. And maybe, I have a feeling this might be a blood orange too. Let me see. Yes, it is. I think they're all blood orange. All right. Oh my god. Did I say oh my god? Oh my god. It tastes amazing. I think I'm falling in love with this variety. I really do. Okay. Forget the Valencia, the navel. <laughs> Go for the blood orange. And it tastes almost like a pomelo and an orange mixed together. It's um a little bit sour but mostly sweet. It would look absolutely stunning when you juice it because because of the color. Maybe you like when you juice it with a bit of mint and some ginger if you want to. It's gonna taste amazing. And yes, that is some of my fruit, most of my fruit. Um, so all I can say is the only one that I don't have here is my parent custard apple because I haven't harvested any and it's not ready. So, um, I like that variety the most. It tastes really nice. It looks like this, um, but a little bit more nicer than this. What I've noticed with this year custard up season is that um, the growth is not doing very well. We don't have a lot of sun this year. I, I think that might be the, the reason why. And it stunned the growth a lot and uh, maybe because the tree is not so healthy either some of them so the fruit is not as good as previous years anyway i'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of these see you next time bye